Hey, you! You with an anxiety. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you right now. Stop listening to your anxiety. Your anxiety is telling you lies. And it is putting up a wall of fear. But on the other side of that fear is you. The person you can be. The best of you. The person that you can be with your husband. The person you can be with your kids. Your your friends. The best person that you can be is on the other side of your anxiety. I'm not telling you to listen to your anxiety when your anxiety tells you not to jump out of a plane. Because that is the smart anxiety. Gotta listen to that guy, okay? I'm telling you about the anxiety that's telling you that you are worthless. Your anxiety that's telling you that because you made a mistake, you are an awful person. Because you burnt dinner, you're an awful wife. Because you yelled at your child, you're an awful mom. Because you are not. You are not an awful mom. You're not an awful wife. You're not an awful human being. You are a good person. Your anxiety is bullying you. Do not listen to him. He's a douche. So here's what I want you to do. So write down all these things that your anxiety is telling you. And then counteract them. Is your anxiety telling you that you're a horrible person? Say, no, I'm not a horrible person. This is what I like about myself. So write that down. Be like, okay, guess what? I'm not a horrible person. I'm not hated, okay? And I am deserving of life and love and laughter because guess what? You are worthy. You deserve life and love and ha laughter. And all of that is on that other side of that wall. That other side of the wall that anxiety is putting up they're put your anxiety is putting up that wall to protect you but they're protecting you from happiness you are worthy of all that but you gotta work girlfriend you cannot listen to anxiety it is hard it's so hard because anxiety is the voice in your head that is bullying you every single day and it's so hard to to tell a bully no when it's somebody else but imagine if that bully's voice is your own voice it's in your head every single day it is hard to say no to to anxiety so it is hard and you will never ever be able to get rid of anxiety but you can tell that anxiety to off you can decide not to listen to anxiety your anxiety will tell you how to react to a situation your anxiety will, will interpret certain situations incorrectly for you do not listen to an, your anxiety you do you you are deserving of laughter and love and happiness and never ever ever girlfriend Never, ever, ever let your anxiety tell you otherwise because your anxiety is a douche. Number one, your anxiety is telling you lies. Number two, your anxiety is a douche. Number three, tell your anxiety to f off. That's right. I'm going to cuss for the first time on my channel. I don't even care. Is that too hard? I'm sorry. I don't mean to sound angry because I have anxiety. And I've seen other people with anxiety who allow anxiety to dictate how they're going to live their life. And I had very bad anxiety that developed into postpartum depression right after I had my son. And I was in a very dark emotional state. And it, the only way that it changed was because I decided I wasn't going to listen to my anxiety anymore. I was going to recognize that my anxiety was there, tell to F off, and then I was going to live my life anyways. So girlfriend, if you are going through a hard time, I want you to know that I'm there for you. I love you. You are an amazing, wonderful person. Do not ever, ever tell anxiety tell you otherwise because you are awesome. All right? I love you. I hope you have a wonderful day. So, in conclusion, anxiety tells you lies. Your anxiety is a douche. Tell it's I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up to let me know if you guys liked it and I can make more videos like that. If you guys have anxiety or know somebody who does, share it to your Facebook page, share it to all your friends. You don't know who has anxiety and you don't know who this can help. So help a person out, share it to them. Let's make this world a better place. I'll put the links down in the description below to videos about my postpartum depression if that's something that you're interested in. If you're not, that's okay. I make funny parenting videos, so don't be afraid to hit that that uh, button that makes you do the thing where you see all my other videos because I'm actually a pretty cool and funny person. At least I think so. I don't know. <laughs> so comment down below. Let's talk. My name is Ray with Positively Ray, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Ta-ta. Ta-ta! Ta-ta!